With Rosie's character, I, I had an idea of, of writing what happened to her as her life flashed before her eyes. So that was where it started from. Um, I guess Rosie was a similar age to my daughter at the time. And I very much tried to put myself in her, well, in her head, you have to try as a writer to put yourself in the head of your characters, I think, in order to be convincing. I think the pacing of the story was largely dictated by Rosie's story. Um, I mean, it's, it's all about her. And although that said, how, how events unfolded in the community was told all through Kate's voice. So Kate's story had to fit in very much around Rosie's. And, and as, a, as the writer, I wanted each chapter really to build to a point that left the reader wanting to read on, turn the next page. My favourite character to write was Rosie because I think her story is, is one that a, a lot of people, a surprising number of people might relate to um, without giving too much away. And it's a, a desperately tragic story as well. When I was writing The Bones of You, I, I started looking into dysfunctional relationships. Um, and I talked to a lot of people, I read a lot of accounts online. And the thing about this kind of abuse is that it's not instantly visible to the world. Um, the scars are on the inside. Whatever impressions somebody might give you, you never actually know what goes on behind closed doors. And as far as this kind of abuse is concerned, I, I really wanted to portray it accurately and sensitively uh, as it is something that remains for the large part very invisible. If there's a message in the book, I'm not sure I, I, I had a message in mind when I wrote it. I, I, I think I wanted perhaps people to think more about the types of abuse that are quite widespread and quite invisible. but. Perhaps it's that, you know, people are not necessarily what they seem. Um, how well do you really know your next door neighbour? Are they really the person that they come across as? You just don't know. Never be sure. Can I say, Kate's been slated by some reviewers for being very naive. Um, and I, I, I know you're not supposed to read reviews, but I did read a review who said that actually she was very kind. And that kindness was a, um, I forget the wording now, but a much underrated virtue or something like that. And Kate actually is just a genuinely concerned, kind person who wanted to support a family who was suffering. And I think there are people like that in the world. Um, so to those reviewers who think she's naive, <laughs> I think she's quite, just quite a nice person really. And she just gives us an overview of what goes on in the community while Rosie's murder is being investigated. And it's, it's the nuances that you perhaps wouldn't see if it was all about the police investigation, but you're actually getting the, the, the detail, the, the, relation, the effect on the relationships. And I think this book is very much about relationships.